today we're doing Grand Ore Peak and we are here at Church Fork. It's the Church Fork picnic area. I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be filming the hike in, um, with, with the dog in mind. So for anyone who is interested in seeing if their dog, if this is a dog friendly hike, um, how rocky it is, how steep, maybe some ledges may be, I will be filming this trail, this hike, with the dog in mind. All right, here we go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just went through the picnic area. That's behind me. It's it's maybe like a quarter of a mile of all picnic area to the actual trailhead. This is the trailhead. So I'll be filming from here. So far, this trail has been very dog friendly. A couple tiny little maybe two feet streams um, that are about oh, a couple inches deep that the dogs just walk right through. But nothing that makes this trail um, difficult for dogs. All right. Okay, so we're getting to a kind of rocky place, but nothing that should be too difficult for a dog. But the trail has been pretty Pretty much just dirt the whole way up up until about here and we're getting some rocks but uh, as you can see London's just going through it no problem so anyways just wanted to show the difference in trail change from dirt to this rock Okay, so the trail has converted itself back from rock back to dirt. So there's only about 20, 30 yards of that rock um, trail and now it's pretty much back to the dirt trail that it's been pretty much the whole hike so far. So anyways, that's where we've come from down there and we've gone through several zigzags to get to here and that's uh, about where we're going up there so we'll just keep hiking so that's where the trail ends it's actually a mud trail and then it turns into snow and where that guy's standing up there's the peak um, I guess it just depends on what time of year you come do this hike on if there's gonna be snow here or not. But got a little bit more left to go. So far the trail's been super dog friendly. Nothing that uh, anyone should be concerned about um, in regards to dogs. Okay. Okay, so we just made it to the top of Grandeur Peak. Um, just because of the winter that we've had, there's been a lot of snow pretty much from there to the top, which made it a little bit challenging. Obviously in the warmer weathers, it won't be quite as difficult, but this is the view that you get when you get to the top. The whole entire valley, there's downtown Salt Lake, there's Rice Stadium, and And the reward at the top of this hike is very, very worth it. The view is incredible. Um, at the top of every hike, I always gauge what the reward is, whether it's a view or a lake. Um, and this is an amazing view of the Salt Lake Valley. So there's the back end. Farley's Canyon, the reservoir up there by Mountain Dale. And basically it's a very friendly, dog friendly hike. There wasn't any parts about the hike that were difficult for our two dogs. So if you're ever thinking of doing this hike with your dogs, it's a really great hike to get up here and it's really well worth um, 
reward to see this view. Okay. Okay.